Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, there's another picture that came out that has everybody freaking out. You know, it's the one thing I don't like sometimes about America is that it, it, any little thing like what we about to talk about just triggers certain folks in this country. I'm like, have y'all realized we live in like the biggest freaking melting pot? We, we don't have homogenous societies in America. We don't have that. In other words, we don't have a, a, a country where it's all just white people. We don't have a country that's all black, all this, all that. No, we live in a melting pot. So when you have a melting pot, people interact with each other. So case in point, let's put that picture up. So everyone is tripping about this picture here. Um, you have a lot of, you know, little young brothers on here. Now, as I look closely, of course, some of them are, you know, Becky there, uh, but toward the end, toward the left, those two girls actually look, you know, black, but they look light skinned. They like black. You got one girl that's maybe over to the right a little bit. She looks like she's Indian. And then the girl at the end for sure, she looks Hispanic. Um, but all these brothers that's on here, they talking about why they isn't with, you know, black girls, X, Y, Z. Well, I told y'all this before and I'm going to tell you again, generation Z is the most integrated generation that we've ever had. And y'all don't talk about all these, you know, uh, you know, sisters out here with these addies, you know, why, why every, you notice that every time it's a black dude that's going to a prom, you know, we talk about the Bronnie James, you know, picture, remember that every time it's a black dude is always just, He's selling out. He this and that and the third. Like we, I, we haven't heard no social media about them saying anything negative about you know black girls or black women or whatever. Nobody knows anything. We don't know if they grew up in a neighborhood where it's not that many black people. We, we just don't know. There's a lot of things we don't know, but it's always the same narratives that you know put them down, call them weak, call them sell out, call them this and that and the third, but you never say nothing about these divestors when they do an exact same thing. So it, it, so it lets us know just as black men is that, you know, you can do what the hell you want to do the divestors, but the dudes that do it. Oh no, you're going to be ridiculed X, Y, Z, but I'm going to tell you about that ridicule. It's not working. Um, you could use that race loyalty conversation. They don't want to hear that. Matter of fact, they're going to tell you something wrong with you for telling them that because they have been so integrated with everybody. Everybody listens to everybody's music. Let me tell you something. Gen X, which is, I am Gen X. I'm going to say probably one of the last generations where people was kind of separated in their own little enclaves. When you got to the millennials and definitely the Gen Z's, that stuff is not happening. Then now the same brothers is what they doing now. As they get older, they are becoming the, the brothers that's traveling like the passport. They're getting their passport. They're traveling too. There's nothing y'all going to say to stop that. Now, if you really are concerned and saying, well, why aren't they want to date people within the community? have conversations with those brothers, not to put them down. We just have a conversation. But one thing I did notice though, when a lot of these brothers have been, you know, raised in single parent households and nobody's been talking about this. I've noticed a rise of this, but back during my time period, Gen X, you still have some dads in the household, right? And we didn't have this issue as much as we see today when you had the rise of the single mother uh, here in the black community. So what is it that's going on in the households where these young brothers are saying that I'm going to date everybody else or some of them not even just saying I'm only dating everybody else. It's like, look, if somebody interested in me, whatever, right? Whatever. Because you have this situation where, you know, the decent dudes are lame and, and, and they're not Pookie and Ray Ray. Cause those little guys don't look like they're Pookie and Ray Ray. None of them. Right. And you know, in our community, if you're not Pookie and Ray Ray, then you're not interested. No, you're boring. That's the word you're boring. And so what do you expect these young brothers to do if they're quote unquote boring sit in their house and, and, and play call of duty? Or if, if he's going to go to the prom and someone is asking him, Hey, I would like to go to prom with you. And then you go to the prom when versus you sitting in the house because you're not pu pookie and Ray Ray. No, no young man that wants to sit in a house by himself. No young man want to be by himself. He would like, you know, companionship too. And these little young brothers today are not sitting up there going to just say, I'm going to be alone and destitute because I'm not Pookie and Ray Ray. Because this Pookie and Ray Ray issue is still a big issue within our community. But what has happened, it's been a shift because the young brothers all the way up to the older brothers that say Pookie won. You can have Pookie. We're going to just do whatever we choose to do at this point. Don't get mad later when, when you come to the epiphany stage and by the you know, late twenties, early thirties, 
And then now you're mad and want to be calling these your little brother sellouts because what happened to some of those situations, you never know. Some of them girls that's in that picture could end up marrying them. You never know. There's been stories like that. Instead of meeting the little girls in, in our community that he wanted to be involved with. Ah, oh, look how he dressed. Oh, oh, look at look at his shoes. Look at this. Look at it's like a fr freaking fashion show. You got to put on this facade of a fashion show, of a facade of a freaking criminal. And these young brothers, just, they not doing it. And I don't blame them for not doing it. Like I said before, teach your daughters to appreciate good young men who's not committing crimes. Teach your daughters is more important about a, a young man's character. Not how much he dressing, his shoes. Do he got tattoos on him? What kind of grades he making in school? What is he going to end up being? What is he going to college for? You understand? That's what's more important. Because later, he, when, when he gets his you know uh, degree or business, whatever he's going to do, he's an upper mobility young man. He's going to be something in life. So by the time you're 30 and he's 30, because you're fooling Pookie and Ray Ray, and maybe in nine times out of 10, fooling Pookie and Ray Ray going to produce a kid or two. Then now you're going to come like, oh man, I'm looking for a guy like that. When you had a chance to get a guy like, listen, most of these women today, fellas had a chance to get good young men early. And they all, I'm saying men, multiple men. And they all turned them down because one, they wasn't a Pookie and Ray Ray Two, They felt they had time. And now when they get 30 and they really want to settle down and, and uh, you know what I'm saying? Now they're looking for that decent guy and that guy is not available. And then it's even worse now because that guy is not even in the country. Now it's even worse. He's leaving the country on y'all. And, and the passport brother I spoke to today in the gym, he, he talked about, he had just came from Colombia, but he said he was going to go to South Africa. He was going to go to Ethiopia. He like all these different African countries. He was mentioning too. He said in his quest, he said, he'll be leaving the U S next year. Like these, and, and these brothers, are not even staying in the country no more. That's, that's how serious they are with the situation. So if you have a chance to meet a good young man early in life, you better get on him. You better take you know advantage of that because you're not going to have it like that. These decent young men, ladies, because the, the, the field is so saturated with women. And let me tell you something about them. Good young men, women of different groups go, go, go grab them. And they're not going to be here for you sisters. So when you got an opportunity to grab them because they in your community, you got the home field advantage, take them. That's that sell out the crap that don't work with them. They're like, she, she's stupid. I don't care what she say. That's the thing they're going to say. It's like, how many times I was rejected. I wanted somebody that looked just like her. What did she do? Look at me funny and talk about the way I dress. And next week, listen, a man can change his clothes at any given time. And why would you want a man to be dressing like Pookie? Why you want him sagging his pants? You know what I'm saying? Something, something wrong with y'all, y'all that kind of man entice y'all. And then, matter of fact, fellas, if a woman say, you know, know that a future is her baby daddy, like hell no, that's her decision making. I ain't coming out here later. That's something that she like. Even if she have an epiphany later, but well, I don't want nothing with, with Pookie and Ray Ray no more. I'm looking for a good man. Nope. Mm -mm. Go back over there, Pookie and Ray Ray. Uh uh. Nope. I'm looking, I'm looking for somebody that that's that do not have that even in their background, but you know, these y'all got to change ladies. Y'all got to change the game. Y'all have to change it. I'm not gonna be putting it on these dudes. Y'all got to change it. You got to teach your daughter better and y'all gonna have to step up to these good men. I told y'all because one thing these other group of women that's doing that you're not doing, they step into these brothers. They step into them. They have no problem letting them know, Hey, I'm interested. That's, that's out of the gate. So if y'all going to compete for the decent men in the community, you got to let these brothers know you're interested. That way it, it, it trust me, when you let a man know you're interested, it, it gets rid of all that. Well, would he be rejected? Is she on some weird stuff about me too? And all that, look, it, you, you, you lessen all that. And he can definitely be, you know, more able to talk to you at that point. And he knows you're interested. So that makes it better. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. You know, like y'all can get mad if you want. I'm talking about those who are get mad at the picture, but until I start seeing the same venom and, and, and sell out for these divestment females until I see that, I just don't want to hear it.